So this video is about the flight pattern that uh, you'll see when bees are swarming. So swarming bees are doing these spirals. They're uh, not headed in any particular direction. They're uh, all, uh, uh, they're, they seem to be wandering. They seem to be lost. They seem to be in chaos. And they're landing on the bushes. You'll see the see them hanging around kind of cleaning themselves up wondering uh, where where they are what to do next they look lost so they're trying to pick up the pheromone trail of the queen bee anyway if you can see this this flight pattern here is typical of swarming bees I'm guessing there's a virgin queen that's come out of that box that I just opened and disturbed And if you can hear that buzz, that's the sound of a swarm. These are the same bees settling down here in just a few minutes later. These bees are hanging out on front of the hive, but they've just returned uh, with the queen. The queen bee was out flying around, so it looked like a typical swarm, so they followed her. Uh, they probably came out of there, uh, the queen included, because I just got in there and snooped around and she left the box. So we want to, that's one reason why we don't want to get into bees when we know we have virgin queens in there. They can still fly. They're not settled down on the frames, on the combs, laying eggs, right? They can take off, they can take flight, take to the air, and then a whole bunch of bees will follow them thinking they're swarming. So they're returning now. Some of them are still flying around a little bit lost, wondering what's going on. This video is useful for learning something. We have got a bee beard hanging out here on the hive. So this this colony I uh, didn't work the first time when I made up this nuke and I put in a cell and uh, later they developed emergency cells. So it says here the uh, queen didn't take the first time and it looks like she did the second time. I couldn't find her as I looked around but I'm pretty sure there's a queen in there because as I disturbed them she came out and the bees followed her like she uh, was going to swarm and, and take half the colony with her go find a new place to live so evidently she's come back that's why they're bearding on this box this bee, bee beard here is not typical of bee bearding uh, if uh, they are too warm in the summertime they're still fairly active. They're all crawling around. They're not settled down. They're, they look a little confused. So if you can tell the difference between the confusion in these bees, they're a little disoriented and just a regular hanging out on the porch beard. Also, uh, I might add that bees that are disoriented for one reason or another, in this case, the queen came out, they thought they were swarming, they'll land on you. They'll land anywhere. They're not aggressive, but they're just finding a place to rest temporarily until they get together because you're a convenient landing post. So if I look here right in front of the hive, there's some dead bees. There's some bees that are almost dead. There's some bees that are wrestling and fighting. So when there's a queen that's out buzzing around and some other passerby bees uh, smell that pheromone, they might just join the swarm. Or they might uh, be attracted in here and then the other bees don't recognize bees from another colony as from their own and so there's a little bit of an argument here about who belongs where so there's some dead bees there's a little bit of beef wrestling and fighting that's normal i wouldn't panic over that seems that they're going back in seems like the queen went back in <laughs> 